Okay, the water's been in there for a while, so there's the magazine. I had to do a retake. I originally was going to do it, make the dry magazine first, but it doesn't really matter. Alright, so I'm going to shoot with that. Let's do this. Steps, five steps, and it barely, well, it's the range that decreases. We'll try the wet, we'll just try shotgun wet for now. See what it does. You can see it's dripping wet. See it gets it. So, as long as you, well, this, by the way, this is a springer, not a gas, so there's no problems. If it was a gas one, all the uh, gas would go into the uh, piston. And make it really ineffective. But if you um, are doing it in a wet scenario and you, uh, well, you're firing in a wet scenario in an airsoft match, um, as long as you exit the water and, um, well, as long as you exit the water, then pump it, you will be fine. Um, I've noticed that when you pump it, you basically fill the water into the uh, chamber, which I'll show you right now. Okay. Just why the reason why it's ineffective. Whereas if you, you know, say you say there's an enemy and you need to get to the water, maybe so he doesn't see you. You go into it. I don't know for about ten seconds. Come out. Drain the shotgun off like that. Any, any like that, and then. See, you can still fire. You'll be wet, you'll be wet, of course, but you can fire from the hip, stop, stop yourself from getting wet. You can see, you can still use a pump action shotgun airsoft in the water, which is the main reason, really. Which is what you know, I don't think you'd ever be in a scenario uh, being, being wet like that. It may rain, but. You yeah, know, it'd be fine. So, let's reload. Let's try it. So you need to fire it under the water. Maybe you're firing under the water, but you only just get into the water. So you've got one in the chamber. I'm not holding my finger on the trigger, by the way. You've got one in the chamber, and you're going into the water. So there's none in the chamber, so it could still fire normally. We'll see. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to basically, I'm going to lower the gun into the water, I'm going to go on the knees first, and um, you're only going to see the uh, barrel, because I've already loaded it. Right, ready? I know about you, but I didn't see it go anywhere, to be honest. One last try. It doesn't exit the barrel fast enough. Alright, so this evidence shows that firing underwater is ineffective, firing while submerged underwater is ineffective as well. You know the gun if it gets wet, it's fine still, so you'll be fine if it just gets wet a little bit like this. Um, and you just drain it off slightly. Thanks for watching, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.